The women's hockey team captured its sixth WCHA regular season title and its second in a row over the weekend, but that's just one goal completed. Hey everyone and welcome to the Press Pass. The women end the regular season on the road with a border battle at Minnesota. The Badgers are actually in the same position they were last season, having clinched the regular season title and finishing on the road at Minnesota. But just because things are wrapped up in the regular season, there's still plenty to play for this weekend, big picture wise. Depending on the outcome of the two games this weekend, they certainly can have ramifications on you know things down the road. So you know, I think uh, as you look at statistics, and I'm not big into that stuff, but I think we've played by far the hardest schedule of any team in Division One women's hockey. And uh, again, this weekend uh, for both teams, uh, you know, if you're successful. Uh, over the weekend, uh, it, uh, it really can give you some more points as you get look at the big picture. Now tickets are already on sale for when the Badgers host the first round of the WCHA playoffs. For more information, head to uwbadgers.com. The men's hockey team is coming off back-to-back -back losses for the first time all season, but the Badgers are still ranked 20th in the latest poll and are in second place in the Big Ten standings. This weekend, Wisconsin welcomes Michigan to the Kohl Center, their final regular season series against an unranked opponent. And coming off a disappointing weekend last weekend, Coach Granado knows his team will be ready to go. I've loved how our teams competed and worked and faced every challenge all year long. Um, you know, th this weekend was one of the weekends that when it's over, we have to learn from what just happened. And, and um, you know, I like our group. They weren't happy with how things went. I think they saw, you know, uh, something in Penn State that we didn't have this weekend that we will get to. We will get in our game and and be ready when we play Michigan on Friday. It's whiteout weekend at the Kohl Center, so be sure to wear white. The puck drops at 8 p.m. on Friday and 7 p.m. Saturday. It's Big Ten Championship time for the women's swimming and diving team. The 12th ranked Badgers feature a number of highly ranked swimmers in the conference, including Sierra Rungi and Chase Kinney. But the strength of this team is the team from top to bottom, and that will play a huge role in what will be a tight race for team title. When the psych sheet came out, I scored out the meet, as I always do, and um, it, it, it wasn't really a surprise. I think that you know, if everything went perfectly, yeah, we'd probably win. Well, um, is it going to go perfectly? I don't know. For them, I want them to have success. That's what I want. And, and for us to, we don't necessarily have to, to win the meet to walk away with um, some really good success. The Women's Big Ten Swimming and Diving Championships start Wednesday and run through Saturday. You can catch all the action on BTN+. That's the Press Pass for Wisconsin Athletics. I'm Brandon Spiegel.